Steven! Come here, I have to talk to you. What the hell did I do? <laughs> um, okay, I need you to sit down. Um, there's something that I have to tell you. Um, we just got word that, um, Mike Starr died. What? No kidding. What he all did? Yeah, he did. Oh man, that sucks. That this sucks. is why I want you to stay clean, because I don't want this happening to you. I know, I know. Gotta stay clean. <laughs> <sighs> it's sad that my buddy's gone. Gary! Charlie, come here. Steve-o. Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Gary Busey. And every day I wake up in the morning, I go in my bathroom. I look in that mirror and I say, Gary, get out of my way. And I get out of my way. And then I'm sit there, and after I do that, and I do my little thing in the morning, drink my little orange juice, masturbate to the dog, and all this. And that. <laughs> I go to my buddy house. Charlie, seen that thing right, Charlie? Winning. Then I got my homeboy Steve-O in the background, sitting up there doing backflips and eating goldfish. Ain't that right, Steve? Yeah, I'm back here eating goldfish and doing backflips off the wall, and I'm sitting there, up there getting tased in my butt, and I'm sitting up there getting it done. But it's like, you know, I go over to Stephen Adler. Stephen, what? Why? <laughs> You're a cool guy. You're a cool guy. Just follow my flaws. Like L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E. Loving others very equal. Like L, loving. O, others. V, very. E, equally. Loving others very equal. And that's how it is. Follow my flaws. You know what? Amy Fisher is nothing but a fucking killer. She's a killer. She likes to shoot people in the head. Me and her did that same damn thing of drugs. But she, yourself, I didn't shoot nobody in the head. There's pooking on me, Shelly. <laughs> Steven? Like, fuck you. I'm just saying like it is, Shelly. I ain't, I ain't sugarcoating it. All right, Steven, settle down. We're about to get Dr. Drew. Screw Dr. Drew and that fucked up shit he's Bob, working. come here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you don't have to get Bob off me. You don't have to get Bob off Okay. But you know what? You know what, Steven? You need to simmer down now. Simmer down now. You heard of this saying nights get simmer down now. So simmer it down now. Charlie, what you think about Winning. Tiger blood. Tiger blood. Winning. I got my two goddesses here. One name is Sadistic Lollipop. I just wanna, I just wanna say winning. <laughs> and my other, my other goddess, Amy Fisher. Winning. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you this, man. We did. We're this. not making fun of Stephen. Right? Uh, we're not making fun of Stephen, but we just. Thought it would just have a little fun, and not tell you this about Steven Adler. I think he's a cool motherfucker, man, because I saw him two times. Saw him on Sober How. Oh, wait, saw him he on. He was on uh, Slavery yeah. Half Twice and Sober Living. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought he was a cool dude. I really liked him, even if he was on or off drugs, because he was a cool person. Felt bad when he lost his damn mind and started cussing people out and threatening people. But uh, he was co he's cool people, and I thought he had every right to do what he did on Celebrity Rehab when Amy Fisher was on there because he needed to put the woman in her place, even though she didn't want to admit that she was an addict. Like you seen everybody at that place admit there was an addict. The kid from Baywatch admit he was an addict straight off the bat. Every, like you flipped it every season everybody admit he was a there, there was an addict 
when Amy Fisher got on there, she didn't want to admit to it. When Steven busted her ass for it and got deep off in her ass, he said, it's kind of fucked up. Now, what he say, sadistic? What he say? What he say? Uh, he said, "I know I'm an addict. I've been here. To, ain't that right, Steven? She, yeah. I told her. I was like, I've been here twice, and I'm an addict. I'm and he just, said, uh, she needs to leave because she's fucking up my uh, sobriety or my health because she's not admitting that she's an addict. Yeah, is that right, Steven? Yeah, that's what I said. And I calm agree. down, Steven. Okay, I will. But that's how I feel about her. Simmer down. And that's true. That is true. And <laughs> she didn't do nothing. Like, I have a... Uh, I, remember, I know All she did was cry. And that's all she did. She didn't want to admit that she was an addict. She shot a woman twenty over 20 years ago in the fucking face because she wanted to fuck her husband. How do you walk from... How do you sit there and... How do you walk from that? How do you sit there and sleep? Deal with... Live deal with yourself like that because one thing is I can say this if you shoot something that's temporary mur uh, what was t uh, what uh, shit temporary murder what is it shit murder mm -hmm. no it's not murder murder but uh attempted murder yeah attempted murder thank you it's attempted murder I kept coming up with trying to think about that word but it's attempted murder and she spent years in prison and she won't even apologize to the wife. And she won't even apologize to Mary Jo Botafuco. In that episode, that whole season when uh, Amy Fisher was on there, my friend uh, Buddha, a.k.a. Jessica Botafuco, was trying to put a position together to get her kicked off because really, she's not really a celebrity. I don't see how, see how she got on there. To me, if you ain't a Michael Lohan ain't even a celebrity. Yeah, he was on there. Yeah, Michael Lohan. Even Michael Lohan just didn't get it. Rodney King. Well, actually, take that back. Rodney King. That's different. That was different than what Amy Fisher did. They actually, struck a whole state for going to some bullshit, did some shit. Yeah, I can understand Rodney King because he got his ass whooped and everybody lost their damn mind in California. But uh. But I agree with what Steven said. How can you sit up there and go into rehab and don't admit that you um, have a problem, have an issue? And she sat there and she said, oh, I don't have a problem. You shot a woman in the head. She partially came, her, her left side of her face is fucked up. She looks like a, I ain't trying to be mean to Mary Jo Botafuco. But she looked like a stroke patient. She looked like a stroke patient. And, and it's kind of sad that she looks like a stroke patient. And the woman, and after Amy Fisher got out of prison, she got out and she started doing porn. How do you sit there and you think solving your problem going into porn is going to solve anything? You sitting there for having sex just to ease your pain? How does that work out? I ain't never heard about somebody going into a pornography just to ease their pain. Have you have you sadistic? No, I never have. I never have. That's one that's something else. Going into pornography just to ease your pain. And then she say, Oh, I drink wine. Well actually wine is not that bad. Actually, you know, they say wine is not can't get like it's not really been if you out. abused it it is yeah. like she says I have a cup a day well if you have a cup a day that's not really abusing it I just having a glass a day I say if you drink it 20 yeah but is she telling the truth though yeah is she telling the truth is she hitting it hitting the bottle like a mug is she taking it to the head Ooh, it looked like she did take it to the head after, after she got out of prison but I, I I believe that she that that people wants to get help. Even Doctor F like I and one thing is I thought it was something strange when Doctor Drew went on and actually out himself like he said, Well, we have patients on there where we they wanna go on the show just to get paid or go on the show just to get help. 
But when I hear that from Dr. Drew, it makes me believe, hey, if people go on there just to get paid, it's fake. The whole show is fake. The whole thing is fake. If people are going to go on the show to just do, get money. You don't say that on TV. All they do is just to get money. Hey, if it's like that, I go on there and get paid say, hey, I got a problem. See, that's why I don't believe in Dr. Drew no more, because I lost all, I, she said, I knew reality shows was all fake, but he just confirmed in my, he just confirmed to my thesis that it is fake, if you're going to out yourself like that, do you, like, do you think Team Mom is fake, like, one thing is, I think he is uh, trying to get Team, uh, Dr. Drew is trying to get teens to get pregnant. When he says, oh, I'm trying to scare kids, to scare teenage girls so they don't, don't get pregnant because 16 and pregnant. No, actually, you're trying to make the, actually, when they see 16 and pregnant, all these girls are getting pregnant just to be on that show. You're not chasing them away. They want to get on the show, 16 and pregnant, or teen moms. You're not really scaring them away. How do you scare somebody away from teen pregnancy on an MTV on MTV when they want to come and get pregnant and be on MTV if you want to scare people uh, if you want to scare people take their parental whatever parental advisory yeah take that off parental advisory off and go to more and show all the good like what HBO did when they had all that uh, autopsy stuff uh huh and show everything, guts, uh, cut marks, everything. That's how you scare people. You don't scare them by showing teen pregnancy. What? What? Okay. Uh, but you got anything to say, sadistic? Tiger blood. Tiger blood. Tiger blood. Cause All right, Steve-O, Steven, Gary. It's time to come in. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming in just to get, get a little taste of that tiger blood with Charlie over here winning. Oh, yeah, I'm coming in because I'm tired of getting taste in the ass. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> this has been Afro Joe. I'll tell you like it is with Sadistic. What's. You want know to say about Sadistic? Bye. We had fun, though. Check us out. Check. I hope, like, look. Look up at the top corner where it says my top left corner where it says my name, CeeLo Jr. 2 or CeeLo Jr. 3. Next to my name, it says subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to, uh, Sadistic. What's your name on, like, subscribe to the Sadistic Lollipops channel, too. Yeah, I should be on there. Yeah. And plus, uh, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie and follow Sadistic. What's your name on Twitter? Uh, it's my actual name. I wish to not say that on here. Okay. Just follow me on Twitter. I have stalkers, so. Yeah. That's how it is in my hood. See, look, man, we, get, we get stalkers. Yeah. I get stalkers.